questions for LPI 010150 exam, which are the following commands can be used to create a file. Okay, so we can, if you want to create a new file, we use touch command, obviously, then that's a very simple question. Then, which option will cause the echo command not to output to a trailing new line? Okay, so when you don't want to output the new trailing new line, then which command will be used? We will use option C. Okay. So let's uh, check on the discussion as well. There are no comments on this. So let's see on the chat GPT forum what they are trying to say. Okay, my computer is getting placed. <coughs> Which option will cause the echo command not to output the trailing sequence? Let's refresh it again. Here, let's give the question. Okay. So option echo command not to output is minus n because it's used with echo command, it suppresses the trailing new line that is normally output after the given arguments. And this means that the next thing printed to the console will be on the same line as the last argument of the echo command. Okay, and it also gives us the next option for option E. What we will do? We will enable the interpretation of backslash spaces, which allows the use of special escape characters to format the output. Then hyphen P or a minus P is not a valid option for the echo command. Minus S is also used to enable the printing of input exactly as it is without any interpretation of expansion. Okay. So we'll use basically this command hyphen n is used to echo command, it suppresses the execution of all the things. Okay, so we'll hide the solution here. Now, which commands provides a help for a specific Linux command? Help for a A and B info and man command can be used to for the help to type the given attribute now simulation when typing a long command add line at the shell at what single character can be used to split a command across multiple lines so which command which you use to split command around multiple lines with five operator obviously we can do it by pipe operator and infant when you have to relearn for provide help for the unix index command now, going on moving on to the next question so we on page six. Uh, okay, I am not a robot, so it's asking it for next question. Okay, page six. So we will discuss on the which is a suitable command to find the next appearance of the word hidden in a man page being viewed from the command line. Okay, we'll check on option D, which is hidden. Now, which of the following are the correct commands for changing the current directory to the user's phone directory? So current directory to the user's form directory, we can change it by cd slash and cd command. Changing current directory to the user's form directory, okay. Now while deleting all the files beginning with the letter A, there was still the file access.txt left, okay. Assuming that it had correct ownership, why was it not deleted? Okay. So they want to say that while deleting all the files with letter A, there is its file is remaining. So uh, assuming that it has correct ownership, while this file has not been deleted. So first option will be files extensions need a different treatment. Okay, RM had to be called with the option R or minus R to delete all the files. Okay, the file access text was probably opened by another application that can also be the possibility. The file access text was hidden that can also be another possibility. Linux file names are case sensitive. Okay, let's go ahead to check the command in or the approach in uh, chat GPT what they are trying to say. <coughs> so we will uh, stop generate it and we will refresh it because it may server may hang out. To chat to the server. Okay. The correct answer is E. Okay. Linux file names are case sensitive. Okay. In this Linux file names are case sensitive, which means access.txt. They are considered as two different file names. Therefore, when the command was used to delete all the files beginning with letter A, it would only have deleted files with name A starting names A starting with A in lowercase. Okay. However, with this is usually the upper case, so it, that's the reason it has not been deleted. Now, option A and B, why they are incorrect, they are also telling the uh, reason why they are incorrect because they do not relate to the case sensitivity of names. Okay. 
and whereas option c what is the approach for option b is possible but it is what is option c the file access just txt was probably opened by another application that is also likely option the correct answer but why it is not correct because it is unlikely that the file was used by another application after attempting to delete the files in it and option d is also unlikely since it is starting with a period option in the names in the criteria okay so that's the reason uh, we will follow or we will take our approach of uh, provisioning those assets in the linear e option okay now which command line can be used to search help files with that mention the word copy so we'll use option man a hyphen k copy option Correct answer is e and the little r and the files one matches the file names of the provided names. Okay. Okay, we'll go with the next question when deleting the files. This was done. Now this one, which command line used to search help files? It was mentioned with the word. Copy man hyphen k copy or uh, stop generating. We'll again refresh it. So, which help files we we'll use to correct command? We we'll mentioned about depends on the OS part also and the type of command interface used. So, what are the possible options? A man command can use to display the manual pages of a comma given comma or a given command or topic, whereas hyphen key option can be used to generate manual pages for those keyword only. Okay, so I think the option we see will be the correct in this right? what's reveal the solution. Option A, man hyphen key option will be there because that will depend upon the specific pages whereas it will display manual pages for the command line so with mention word copy you can be able to search through the files which is having the word copy okay next moving on to next expression okay so which command is used to make a shell variable known to subsequently executed programs export command i believe yes we have to that will uh, make shell variable known to exit subsequently executed programs. Okay. Now, which command lists all files in the current directory that start with the capital letter? Now, ls, then a to z. So, that is the listing of all files. Now, which command shows if user bin is in the current shell search path? User in this current shell path search bar, then you can use the option info with the dollar path variable. Now, whichever following commands will list the list of all files in the current directory, including those that may be hidden. So, we'll use option A, which is used to list of all the files in the current directory, including those that may be hidden. Okay. Now, next we will move with H, H, O, H, R, K. That is for capture submission. We will do now. We will check for other questions uh, which are the following command increase the number of elements in a directory so elements uh, can be increased in a directory by touch command which is used to create the file and e command make directory ds because it will help us to create new directories and new files in the uh, options now which command can be used to get comprehensive documentation about any command in linux so man command will be used to get comprehensive documentation about any command in Linux. Now, how is it possible to determine if an executable file in the shell script which is read by a batch? Now, option C will take the first line that will start with hash bin and dash. Okay. Now, which of the following commands can be used to view a file and do search operations within it while viewing the contents? So, so we will use the option A which is less command. Now, which function does a shell program server? 
will check the option C, it can be used to commands and executes them. Okay. Now, which of the following commands can be used to extract files from an archive? So, I believe tar will be the option, tar will be the XVF that is used to extract files from an archive. How could one search for the file food or teams and other directory home? So, one would search for the food with another option D, find home hyphen and name food.txt. Okay. Now, what is the output of the following command? Let's see del minus n 20 test dot txt. Okay. So, that would be the last 20 lines of the txt, txt including the blank lines. Okay. So, this was our last segment and